listen to the Conservative leader at length on Bill C-59. It'll come as no surprise, I think, to folks in this House and to many Canadians that there are certainly many things uh, about which I disagree uh, with the Conservative leader. There are some things on which uh, we may find some agreement. But one of the things that, I can, that continues to surprise me is that we hear an analysis from the Conservative leader that talks about the hardship Canadians are facing, that talks about the problem of inflation. But nowhere in there is a mention of the fact that over 25% of the inflation that Canadians have been subjected to over the last while, according to some credible economists that have published studies to this effect, have to do with outsized price increases by corporations that are well above the increase in costs that they have faced. The fact is that corporate greed is playing an important role in the inflation that Canadians are experiencing, but that is nowhere in the analysis of the corporate control conservatives. Not a coincidence, it seems, uh, because by glossing over this incredible contributor to inflation, the conservatives are doing a solid for their corporate pals. So I'd like to hear the conservative leader talk about the role of corporate greed in inflation and what he would propose to do about it. Opposition. First point I would make, Madam Speaker, is that uh, he seems to be suggesting that corporations were not greedy eight years ago because food prices were much lower then. But that suddenly now, uh, maybe it's something in the water, that their level of greed in the country has grown dramatically over the last eight years and that this is the sudden cause of food price increases. Well, reality is that big corporations always do well in an inflationary environment. And it's very simple. Why? If you have stuff, then you get richer when stuff goes up in price. If you need stuff, you get poorer when stuff goes up in price. That's why inflation is always a tax on the poorest people to the benefit of a tiny minority on top. It's not just those who sell stuff, but it's those who own assets that get better off. So that's why I warned in this House of Commons in the fall of 2020 that printing $600 billion of money was going to lead the billionaire class to become extremely wealthy. And it did. The gap between rich and poor has grown. We knew, I knew this would happen because when you funnel hundreds of billions of dollars into the financial system, you balloon the assets of the people who have, and you increase the costs on those who have not. Inflation is the most immoral tax. It is the tax on the, it is, it, it takes from the have nots to give to the have yachts. Conservatives will not only get rid of the carbon tax on food, we will get rid of the inflation tax on everybody. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I'd like to ask um, uh, the Leader of the Opposition. I've visited with three farmers in my riding over the, over the Christmas break, and uh, 